Have you ever read a car's passage and zoned out halfway through because the topic was boring? You probably stopped halfway through the passage and read it from the beginning, wasting precious time. Can you actually stay focused on these boring passages? Hey guys, Jack Weston here, and today I'm going to discuss how to handle boring cars passages. Before we get started, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos just like this and click on that bell icon to get notified as soon as we release new videos. MCAT passages can be really boring, or are they? I know that sometimes it feels like you're reading in a totally different language, but the problem starts from the very beginning, before you even read the passage. If you want to read these passages well, all you have to do is change your attitude. If you think they are boring, they will always be boring. And as a result, you're less likely to pay attention, even if you try really hard. How do we change our attitude, our mindset? To answer that, we have to discuss why you're taking this exam in the first place. You want to be a doctor. When I ask students why, why do you want to be a doctor? I usually hear the same thing. I'm curious about human physiology. A doctor should really be curious about everything. That includes other fields like philosophy or even art. Why? Because the art of practicing medicine is much more than biology or anatomy. It's a human connection, a bond with your patient. Any physician will tell you the bonds they form with their patients are all unique. Because every patient has a unique story, unique hopes, desires, fears, and of course, ailments. The author is just like your future patient. Respect them. Don't look at the clock or think about yourself while you're reading, because if you do that, you're not truly giving it your all. Look at it this way on the test, you're supposed to read nine passages on topics you'll probably never read about from nine people. You will probably never hear from again. If you are not paying attention now while you're taking the test, you will never have an opportunity to hear from them again. I know that's really deep, but it's true. This universe is filled with people who are interested in so many different fields that we may never have even heard of. This is your only time to read about something different, to learn something different. Don't forget that there is literally someone on the other side writing this, someone with the same kinds of thoughts, fears, desires as your future patients. You know, I think this is a great opportunity for you to get better at listening to other people. We are all so used to hearing from the same people every day our professors, our family, friends, co workers, classmates. But when we have to read about a topic, That we're not familiar with by someone we have never met, we tend to want to close them off. What I am trying to say is that being a good reader has nothing to do with how strong your grammar or vocabulary is. It's about being open minded, willing to embrace someone else's ideas and opinions. High scoring students don't have to deal with boring passages because they don't look at any passage this way. Change your outlook. Change your attitude and start appreciating the author. I always hear people say, pretend you're interested. Well, what if you actually were? If you want to learn how to exactly read these interesting passages, check out my CARS strategy course by visiting jackweston.com. You can also sign up for a free trial session to get a better idea of how I teach and break down passages using rules that are very easy to learn but difficult to master. Leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future video topics. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.